<laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. She bled, she bled like a stuck-up pig. Yes, the blushing bride now serves Sithis in the void. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death as his body once did in life. Ah, uh, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold, simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Okay. 750, nice. Summon Spectral Assassin. What? That's gonna be interesting. Breaching security. Hey, Gabriela. Dear sister, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. Yeah, she did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow, Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. Um, Gaius Morrow will die, Hail Sithis. He is set to leave the <laughs> Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Moro's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithis. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Yes? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Moro in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Okay. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Interesting. Tell me about Dragonbridge. It's a small town, with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Oculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago, when he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. Do you know Gaius Morrow's schedule? No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. Uh, what will killing Gaius Morrow accomplish? Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No, we need him to remain in charge, but... Distracted. Weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the Commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated. His family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Interesting. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Oh, this is evil. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him judgments. Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. I'm a werewolf. Yeah, I will be soon after I do the companion session. Maybe even a vampire. Because Donga DLC. Bitch. Alright. Still, guys, Mars travel schedule. Alrighty. Let's head to Solitude.
The Emperor's cousin killed. Right here in solitude. I feel nothing but shame. Is that my horse? You probably want someone yep. else. I'm just the stable boy. Solitude sawmill. You can do it, horse. Get across. Lovely. So I have like 21 left. This is gonna be bad. Um, I'll take that, 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 that. I can carry the rest of this easily. Ready to fight. What is with you when attacking my horses? I'm serious. It's annoying. Gotta make it to a fast rope point. What's this place? Okay, never mind. It's too far away. Sounds up there. Oh, it's attacking me though. No, attack the dragon. I am master of the art. Yeah, really. I was gonna lose either way. Either literally, or I just wouldn't be able to carry the dragon stuff. It really sucks.
The Emperor's cousin killed. Right here. Solitude. Seems so. Nothing like Shame. The Winking Skeever. If um, you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. Bits and pieces. I'm going to assume this is the blacksmith. Or something that I can sell stuff to. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Uh, what? Oh, right. I thought adventurers were supposed to look tough. Huh. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Um, iron sword of burning. I suppose so. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Yeah, I suppose. Citizen. Hopefully this is, um, a good place. Welcome to the Winking Ski. Drink for the thirsty. Food for the hungry. And, uh, no. Remember Seems the Winking there's always more more to be done. There's not much places in Solitude as them. Hey, watch it! Shut up. Time to go fight a dragon and some bandits again. Though, honestly, it's very annoying that I have to do that. So I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to go around the normal path. You do lose when I'm riding on, right? Though, to be fair, you did start talking before I got on it. So, yeah, I'll give you that. And there's Dragon Bridge. I know you will, but all the same, remember everything I said. Stay alert, and when you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. You look older than he does. You're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Huh. Son, when the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything could go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. Farewell, Father. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Well, this is it then. Look after yourself, Gaius. Trust me. You're doing your duty, and I'm proud of you, but you better right? come back to Trust me. Trust me. You we hear? have nothing to say to one another. Oh, f Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. After I kill, I'm going to kill the Emperor. Traveling can be so dangerous. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for this. Move along. No worries. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Trust me, we have nothing to say to them. Yeah, Eric. Okay. Trust me, we have nothing to say to one another. Can you please stop saying that? The 
citizen. Citizen. Alright. You are to adhere to the following schedule. Uh, Maunder, Solitude, the Emperor's Tower, Maunder's Evening, Solitude Castle, Dower, Food and Sleep. Stuff like that. Thank you. Peripheral vision is a bitch. And I guess I'm gonna follow him on foot. Although... Could just skip time. Where the fuck did he go? How the hell did he get over here so fast? In one hour! He's in Windhelm on the other side of the world. Wow. That's funny. He probably took a carriage or something. Though if I'd followed him for an hour, he probably wouldn't have been there. Hey. How are you? Okay, so if I still got poison... Eh, no. Actually, I want to fight him normally. I'm gonna wait for him to go to a good place. So not following you, mate. Don't worry. It's all your imagination. to see you again. I have no idea who you are. You are trying my patience, citizen. Back away. Now. Fine. Do you know what? Last mistake. Father, I'm gonna take all of this, and yet I'm gonna put a piece of paper on him, and then not gonna question why he has no clothes. But yet he has this letter. Um, some books, discriminating letter. Let's go. Stop right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, did he take all that stuff away from me? No, still have him. What a waste. Oh, I didn't put it on. Pull back to Gabriello. Got it. I love how they did see me kill him, so technically I didn't kill him in their books. So, that's hilarious.